The RAF buoyed by their decisive victory over the Navy were happy to bat first on a good wicket in the best conditions of the day. And openers Rob Diver and Tom Shorthouse put on 40 in the first six overs before Shorthouse was caught behind by Connor Reid from Denison Narian's delivery. Diver was bowled for 35 by Narian with the RAF then on 67 for two. And that became 74 for three with Fisher brilliantly caught in the gully. Andy McGeorge then came to the crease and his innings of 40, supported by Ash Watson, proved absolutely crucial, which included 15 off the penultimate over of the innings. The RAF's total of 147 for six looked a good one to defend, but the Army had the talent to claim their sixth successive title, and opener Jordan Ralph made a good start with eight off the first over, the required run rate. But he fell on 20 LBW bowled by Watson, heading for his second four-wicket haul of the tournament. And when fellow opener Graham Wiseman was dismissed four runs later and Liam Fletcher LBW from the next ball, the Army were in trouble on 24 for three. After that third wicket, the RAF bowling and fielding dominated. The Army never able to get on top as they fell behind on the run rate. Despite the best efforts of captain Jay Boynton and Tade Carmichael, the bowling of Watson, Shorthouse, Tom Fairclough and Ian Sinclair was outstanding, as was the fielding effort. Surely it was all over, 73 needed from 24 balls, and despite their best efforts, there was to be no Army sensational ending. They finished just over the 100 mark. So a great performance from the RAS cricketers here, winning the Inter-Services T20 Championship and denying the Army yet another title. A superb performance uh, from the team there in light blue. And of course, the RAF centenary year, what better way for them to celebrate than to have victory in the Inter-Services T20 here at Lords? I can't remember the last time we won the tournament. I think it was 2012 when we got one at two, two years on the trot. And to win it on the, the RAF 100 is fantastic. And it's a great achievement for the lads as well, especially to wear the 100 on your shirt. We just did turn up in the final game. We've, we've been well prepared. We've had a great upcoming towards Lords. And yeah, like you said, the RAF were the better team on the day. But we'll be back next year and we'll um, get a trophy back, I'm sure. For that. I, think, I think we deserved it on... Uh, on the balance, I thought the lads executed the, the match plans absolutely perfectly. So I'm really, really happy with them. They've worked hard um, and, yeah, superb. The RAF worthy winners here in a tournament that they came third in last year, which shows that on the day, any one of these three teams can be successful at the home of cricket. John Knighton, Forces News, Lords.